Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2017 with the Rude Man. We are back on Texas. And um, in the last episode, I finally made enough money to purchase Field 17. So, since we're already plowing everything, we might as well get up there and plow 17. And then I can start seeding. I got a little bit of uh, harvest left on that field that I leased. Field 24, was it? I don't recall. Uh, field 26. So I need to finish that harvest. So let's sidle up to our new field. And I think I'm just going to hire somebody just straight off the bat here. Sounds like a plan, Stan. Now there is something a little bit strange about this uh, Fent tractor. If you notice in the speedometer area down here, right down here, it shows that there's four-wheel drive there. But when I do the four-wheel drive, it don't turn off or on. The drive control uh, does not work. I can't turn it on and I can't turn it off. It's just there. So I don't know what that's all about, really. I, I don't, don't have a clue. All right, let's drop this and let's line this guy up here. And as usual, I have no idea whether this field is square or not. So I'm just gonna hire somebody. Uh, Alan Hazlitt is on the plow or the plu. All right, Alan, you go with it. We're gonna go to our combine. Oh, okay. Let's just move this guy out the road here for a second. Let's grab the other feller and hire somebody to finish this out, which is, uh, whoa, Craig, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, where's he going? What, what was that? All right, hang on. I don't know what happened. He just went crazy. Uh, funny because they were going just fine before. Um, I don't know. He went off on a tangent there. Let me straighten it out and see if that makes a difference. Okay. Yeah, and it's Craig again, so he gets a second chance. Uh-oh, I missed a strip. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, sirrah, sirrah. Whatever will be, will be. All right, back up, buddy. All right, now, let's see about finishing this little strip out. And we've got Ed Minter is gonna finish this one out. Let me grab my truck. What's it doing clear out here? What was this guy doing? He was selling compost, which I don't think I have. Well, I might have a little more. Let's just let him go. I don't, I don't, uh... Ed Minter has completed their task. Craig Dodds has completed their task. Well, okay then. Let's grab this truck and fetch on our grain here. I'm just gonna drive this guy back to the truck through the mud hole. I don't know if I can afford this field. This field would probably be the next one I buy, but man, it's a big one. It's a big one. Let's see, how much is that one? Uh, 
Well, that's it's not much more than the one I just bought, really. Really, it isn't. Well, you know, if you took all this stuff and put it all together in one field, it's about the size of 17. Okay, well, that's doable, I guess. I just did it once. I could do it again. Yeah, aren't I cocky? All right, let's spread this guy's wings. There we go. And I think we've got every bit of this field, I hope. As soon as these guys are done, I'll turn this lease back in. In the meantime, though, let's see what we've got here. I don't know if I should sell the canola. I got my field, and I've got 112 to spare. Let's wait on selling anything else right at this moment. Um, I'm going to build the compost out. We can always sell a compost because it's you know not a big deal. It's not you're not going to get a great demand for compost that I'm aware of because it wasn't really ever on the uh, map to sell. Let's see, we've got... We don't have any silage going. We've got some digistat, uh, digistate to sell, which sells for absolutely nothing, really. Um, okay, let's get this guy back to the barn with his soybeans. And like I say, I'm going to probably leave the uh, oh, look, I can drive right through this. There's a shortcut through my pasture here. I'm going to leave the John Deere out there uh, for when that field is ready to go because it takes me forever to get combine out to that field. I didn't realize there was a shortcut through the pasture here. Drive through the mud holes. Does anybody else have that lightning effect in the graphics for the trees and stuff? I've never had that on any other map. Uh, oh, I'm turned around here. Completely turned around. I didn't realize. Oh, you know what I need? I need to buy um, um, a, poo, a poo thing. A poo poo thing. I need to buy a poo poo thing. I need to buy the super poo man. Or whatever it's called. Super poo container. Uh, super, super poo king. There. I need the super poo king. It's 60,000. That's half my money. Oh well. It's half my money, but that's, uh, and in this case, there's no easy way to pick up the poo-poo. And I screwed up. I should have probably gotten the, the racing engine. But I didn't. Darn it all. The Super Poo King has a racing engine, an option. Oh wait, I can update it. I mean, I mean, I can upgrade it. I think. Uh, that lets it go a little bit faster. I wasn't thinking on nor on uh, most of the maps that I'm playing. The soybeans are not accepted here. What? This doesn't take soybeans? Oh, I've got to fix that. Shoot. i got to go back into Giant Editor. All right. Um, fine. I'll put this for the time being. 
in the regular silo up there. Oh, I'm stuck in the mud. I didn't really realize that didn't take soybeans. By the way, talking about that, somebody asked me if I could do a tutorial on how to add things to the hayloft and stuff. It's not that easy. I mean, it, well, it is, it is, and it isn't. Um, it's not that hard, but you have to change it in two different places, and one of them is uh, using GE Editor. And if you're not familiar familiar with GE Editor, uh, you could really mess up your game if you do something wrong. It's not that hard to use, really, but. Um, yeah, if you're not used to using GE Editor, if you don't have it, you'd have to download it. You'd have to kind of learn how to use it, and it's kind of a pain in the butt if you don't know how. All right, back to the farm. Whoa, whoa, there's a fence. Well, I thought that uh, that, that hayloft took uh, all the fruit, but I guess it doesn't. I'll have to... Uh, I'll have to look into that. I did fix it so that it did millet and and rye and poppies and because in in um, now wait a minute, I don't use that in Don Diego. I'm gonna have to check. Maybe I didn't make this thing do millet and stuff like that because this map doesn't have millet. All right, I'm gonna I'm confused. I'm gonna have to look at it. I don't think I did, so I'm gonna have to. Uh, go in and take a look at that. I can fix it so it works, but uh, I don't want to stop the episode to do it. I'll do it between now and the next episode so we can get that soybeans back. Let me grab some more straw here. That really sur that really surprised me. I thought it took uh, I thought it took everything. All right, let me go get those other two combines and get them in. And uh, let me turn this field in. Let's see here. Uh, what field is that? 26? Yeah, let's cancel the lease on that. And let's go put this guy away. Boy, this guy's doity. Well, pretty soon... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Pretty soon... Whoa! Uh, at midnight, I have a mod that cleans everything, so that's kind of cool. You know, I have kind of mixed feelings about that, but it does take a long time to wash all your vehicles. You have to drive them all the way over to the spray rig. You have to jump out, manually wash them, which takes a minute or two. It's really kind of a pain. I know some guys that wait till it rains. <laughs> it's the only time they wash their vehicles. It's when it rains. So anyway, I don't mind using that mod. It cleans them up. I like clean equipment. They should be clean once a day anyway. And it doesn't matter if they're in a building because as you know, the rain comes right through the building. So so it doesn't matter. You can put it in a building. It'll still get washed by the rain. Now that there's funny right there.
Yeah, I told you I've been getting paranoid about. You see, I know it's it's getting around to midnight. Uh, I'm getting paranoid because several times now I've had this plant growth turned off by something, and I don't know what it is. Now, I know there's uh, a, a couple of my subscribers that are having the same issue where it happens. I'm thinking it has to be some kind of mod that's interfering with it uh, as in, um, you know, it's a unintentional deal, uh, an unintentional conflict. I've got like 120 mods in here. I don't know. I mean, not literally, but I actually have quite a few. I'd have to count them to see how many I actually have. But I have quite a few mods in here. For me to go through every one of them would take a really long time. But I've got uh, one of my subscribers has had that problem. And, and he told me he's going through his mods uh, one at a time to see if he can find a conflict. Now, I don't know how hard that's going to be for him because it doesn't happen on a regular basis. I mean, it's just all of a sudden, I'll go overnight and my crops didn't grow. And I'll go in there and find out that it got turned off by something. So, you'd have to be able to recreate the, that something to find out which mod it was. And I don't know. Unless you go into the mod itself and... Who wants to take the time to do that? Uh-oh. Now, what's his problem? Oh, I remember what his problem was. At the end of the last episode, you may or may not see it. I can't remember when I cut the episode off. But the, the uh, grain truck was on autopilot. It was on cruise control, and it slammed into the back of that um, water truck. But I think I cut the I think I cut the episode just before the tragedy. All right, as soon as I get back with this guy, I got to get the cedar out. I gotta check to see how Plowboy's doing. They like it when you call him Plowboy. Oh. Hang on. Let me get, uh, let me get my piece of equipment from the shop here. Super Poo King. Super Pooking. Reset that. And let's find it. And let's put this in category four. And then let's go into the shop. Now, see, this guy does what? About. Well, he's pretty quick. 40 miles an hour. But let me. God, I hope. I suppose if I put that racing engine in, I could always take it out if I don't like it. Let me see if I can do it. I have a little bit of money left. Alright, let's customize. Put the racing engine in. It's only $1,000. Cool. Alright, let's get back in it. Okay, let's head to the cow barn. Cow barn, here we come. Whoa, whoa! See, that's the problem I had with it. If you turn the wheel even a fraction, it goes crazy. It goes a lot faster. But be careful. If you turn the wheel, you're in doo-doo. All right, let's pick up the poo. Pick up the pace. No, no, no. Pick up the poo. Not that much poo there, really, but... Oh, I found out what was wrong with the compost one. You notice the compost one, when you drive over it, it picks up everything in like instantly. 
I didn't do that. Or if I did do it, I didn't do it on purpose. So I went in and I and uh, looked at it, and it is set really high. I think somebody wanted to set it a thousand, and they set it at ten by accident. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. I didn't change that one. Well, I shouldn't say that. It could have been me, and I just didn't do it on purpose. So I can fix that. I just haven't. And while I'm picking up poo, I think I'll run down to the pigs. Snatch up theirs, too. I don't know. It doesn't seem like the pigs make as much poo as the cattle do. They're too busy making bacon to make poo. Oh yeah, definitely this goes faster with the racing engine in it. Dang near 100 miles an hour. Alright, where's the poo at? Over in the other end, I think. While I'm here, let me take a look and see what we've got. Okay, we're out of barley and wheat. And we've got 76,000. I need to get some more barley and wheat in there, I guess. I want to keep these pigs fed, that's for sure. Okay, let me whoop around here. And pick up this. See, they don't make as much. And I've got just as many pigs as I do cattle, I think. Whoops. I, no, I actually have more pigs than I do cattle. Pigs don't make as much poo. That's my opinion. And I'm sticking to it. They must have a better digestive system, which doesn't make any sense because a cow has four stomachs. So what the heck's that all about? All right, got all that poo. I'm wasting time, aren't I? Um, well, I don't have enough time to seed everything I wanted to seed. Man, this guy's still going. This is a big field. Got a big hole there. Okay, where's my seeder? Uh. Where is my cedar? Alright, not near, not near. Where's my cedar at? Did I just... Huh. Where's my cedar? There it is. No, that's not it either. That's Hulk. That's I don't need Hulk. I should get rid of Hulk. Where is my cedar? This is this is odd. I must have left it somewhere. That's my cultivator. Um that's weird. Where would I have left the cedar? It's not hooked to a tractor, because I just went through all my equipment, and it wasn't there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There it is. Do I not have the big cedar? Really? I don't. I need money, then. You go to the garage. I do have it. It's right there. Where is it? Let's see if we can find it. Okay, so let me go to the cedar. There it is. Let's find it on the map. Or not. It's supposed to be right in front of me. There it is. It's almost into the field. 
Okay, got it. Need my big tractor though. Close as you to being done. Uh, he's close to being done. Okay, fine. Don't run over me. Tell you what we're going to do. Let me grab a... A John Deere. Grab a John Deere. We got a loose John Deere. What happened to all the John Deeres I had? I thought I had more than two. I do. Let's grab this guy. Sure glad I made these things more quiet. Okay, we got two seeders. Let's put them to work. Uh, okay, let me run through the building here. Running through the jungle. Uh-oh. I missed a hitch. Missed a hit there. Got it. All right, we've got no fertilizer or no seed in here to speak of, so let's run around and seed it up. Seed it up. We're going to fill it up. Seed it up. All right, that's liquid fertilizer. We don't need that. That's regular fertilizer. Let's grab some of that. And then let's grab some seed. And then I think I'll head up to field 20 first. Get that out of the way. Um, Maybe not. This tractor won't go through all that mud. Let me, let me put this guy on uh, that little field I got down there. The smaller field over this way. Don't get stuck in a mud guy. Put four wheel drive on it now, just a preemptive strike. Remember when I thought pig pen was huge? Since I've been using that other cedar, it doesn't seem that huge to me. Okay, now let's see. I think I need wheat. I sold all my wheat, didn't I? Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do wheat. Let's just hire a worker here. And who'd we get? Craig? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, shoot. Hang on. Stop. Stop it. Darn it. Oh, jeez. I have to plow, remember? I forgot. I had to plow. I haven't plowed yet. Whoops. Go back. Go plow. Needs plowing. 29 needs plowing. And, uh... Boy, what a look at that! That's a mess. I'm not going to get seated before, uh, before midnight, I don't think. <sighs> Alright, let's finish this guy out and find out what he's missed. Tell you what I should do is uh, I do have another I do have another uh, plow. I should have had this guy running already. I really should have. I wasted the last two episodes. 
not even thinking ahead of doubling up equipment. <coughs> we'll see if uh, Alan is done. He was doing the plowing. Careful, it's Hulk. Hulk will tip you over. I'm going to take Hulk. And there's evidently some areas that the big plow missed. So I'm going to take Hulk out and see if I can... Oh, that's going to be hard to see. Shoot. All right, let's grab Hulk. Not Hulk. Whatever. I haven't, I haven't got a name for this guy. All right, there it goes. We're into mid... Oh my God, it's dark. I knew I wasn't gonna make it. Whoa, it gets dark in Texas, don't it? Look at this big patch that he missed. There's another big patch that he missed. At least it's easier to see in the daylight. All right, well, I'm going to take this guy, this big guy, and we'll put him on uh, field 18 is done. Let's see what else is done. 18 is done. 20 is done. Uh, 28 is done. Let's go put this guy down on 29. And then, uh, I'll get, I'll get the other one to clean up that field 17. You know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this big bruiser, put it away. Kind of. If I can find an empty spot here. And I'm gonna put get this guy to seating. And I'll let Hulk clean up. Because there's only one small field and clean up on 17. Clean up on aisle five. So I in the meantime I can get this big bruiser seating those fields. Okay, and we're full up. That's good. Okay, I'm just going to do it this way. Ready? Here we go. Wait, not corn. Not corn. Not corn. There we go. Okay, who we got working here? Joseph Calistro. Okay, so you go, Joseph, on that. And then let's take him and finish putting his wings out. Drop it like it's hot and clean this thing up here. Let's clean this field up a little bit. This tractor is a little weak, but it'll work for the time being. Yeah, I used to I used to think Hulk was huge too. All right now, let's see if I can find these blank areas. There's one.
Clean up on aisle 17. Man, we got some hilly ground here. I can't remember who it was. I was uh, comment, yeah, commented to me that they didn't care for the hills. Uh, I don't think it was necessarily this particular farm. Um, it might have been this farm, but that it was just a comment that they didn't care for the hills on maps. They like flat ground. Well, I can understand why, but still, I think this is kind of cool for a change. Man, that's quite the spot that it missed there. Maybe I should have left the big one on. I wonder if the next time I uh, plow this field, if I don't go east to west instead of north to south, it might be easier if the hills are going the same way. Or I wish somebody would make a, a more flexible piece of equipment. The cedars sometimes miss too, although not as bad as the plow. If they could make it more flexible so you didn't have this issue, that'd be cool. So what'd you do this episode? <laughs> Plowed 10 times on the same field. Yeah, I think it was either the last episode. It might have been the episode before this one. I was telling you about a commenter uh, that asked me if uh, when I was playing just for fun and not recording, if I found myself sometimes talking to a non-existent audience. And I had to laugh because I, I do and I mentioned that to my wife and she started laughing she says well it's not just when you're playing games she told me that uh, she hears me talking like that sometimes when I'm sitting in the hot tub by myself late at night she'll hear me talking about uh, like I'm talking to an audience something funny too well it's not funny it's kind of strange I've been doing this for a couple of years now. You guys know how many videos I do, a lot. So that's a lot of talking. And my wife mentioned one day, and so did somebody else. I can't remember who it was. One of my subscribers that have been with me since the very get-go mentioned one time that they thought my voice was deeper. And I went back and listened to the videos and stuff, and it is. My voice is a lot deeper than it was. And I kind of said something to my wife, and she says, yeah, I've noticed it. She says, maybe your voice is getting stronger from all the talking you do. I don't know. Does that happen? But yeah, my wife even said she noticed my, my voice is a lot deeper than it used to be. Depends what I'm doing. If I'm playing a game where I'm getting my butt kicked by monsters and stuff, I'm squealing like a little girl. I'm getting dizzy doing this though, I'll tell you that right now. Okay, I got to remind myself next time I plow, or maybe even when I seed, it might be easier seeding east to west than it is north to south. 
Because I might have the same issue with this, with seating. Is that cedar's 32 meters. Uh, the plow's only 26. I think the cedar might be a little bit more flexible, but I'm not entirely sure. I couldn't prove it in a court of law. Of course, nowadays, I don't know what you have to prove in a court of law. I think it just depends on what the judge wants to do. They don't seem to be going by law anymore. They, they're judging by what they think or their politi political motives. All right, did I miss a spot up here? Yep, there's a spot right there. Oh, there's a spot there too. My God. It might have been easier to just plow this thing twice. There's a spot right there. I don't know. It seems like the hills are rolling the same direction. So, only one way to find out. Next time I plow, I'll try it east to west. See if that solves the problem. Do any of you guys own this field and have this issue? Uh-oh, I dropped too late. Drop and roll. Twist and shout. Hey, this John Deere's doing a pretty good job with the uh, Hulk. I'm surprised. Because these things don't have very big engines in them, really. They're just medium-sized tractors. Nothing to shout home about. I swear about half this field wasn't plowed. Might have to go check, see how the cedar's doing. So it'll be interesting to find out. We're into May already. That means June's right behind. And uh, the kids usually get out of school in June. Now, when I was a kid, we got out on the 1st of June. We had most of the month of June off. The school last year was way past mid-June before they got out. I thought, wow. Kids are missing half their three, three months because they start again in September. Usually uh, Labor Day, I think it is. So right after Labor Day weekend, they start back in school. So I'll be interested to find out because we had kind of a tough winter this year and the kids lost a few days of school that they're gonna have to make up. I can't wait till school's out because I, you guys know I, I lived across the street from a school and the traffic is just ungodly. And at any time of the day, there's somebody pulling in my driveway, either to try to find a place to park, or to drop their kids off, or, or whatever, to turn around. I swear, every time I look, there's somebody pulls in 90 miles an hour. 
even just to turn around, scary. Well, end of the episode right here. I'm going to end it here. I didn't get this field done. I'm going to finish it off, though, before I stop, uh, stop the game. But in the meantime, I hope you had fun watching me go around in circles. If you did, give it a like. Share it with a friend. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you back in Texas on the next episode. Happy farming.